Well, not even for their own gain, just YouTube videos. I mean, someone could make a very compelling YouTube video where they get you convinced that, oh, my God, dinosaurs aren't real. Right. They start playing these things for you. They tell, they tell you well, about cell phones the can pop popcorn. In the, if you ever see that one? Oh, I have seen that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you line up some stuff, and then they start popping. Corn. Yeah, you got to like direct yeah, that was them a fun one. at the cor- that, kernels. That was a fun one. Yeah, that can't really happen. No, no, of course no, not. No, of course yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. You imagine if it could? Jesus Christ! We'd be like, what are we doing with these phones? <laughs> but there's there's a ton of those out there where people see. That's it's one of the problems with uh, with a lack of dialogue with someone who just has one narrative. Like you sit down, you edit something, and you just talk. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very similar to, like, even if you write a blog. I mean, it's one thing if you're writing a blog, like, say, if you're an expert in uh, electronics, you write a, a blog about how a television works. But if you're just a person and you don't really understand what you're talking about, but you write something and you use the right words and you say it in a very compelling way, like an attack piece on someone that really has no basis in reality, you can have someone convinced this person's a terrible person just by writing something so, without them having to respond, like, hold up, stop, never did that. I tweeted stop, a few never weeks ago. There. I tweet a few weeks ago, and I'm not going to botch it because it's, it's way better as the tweet than I will ever remember it as the tweet. So it was uh, one of the great challenges in life is knowing enough to think you're right, but not enough to know you're wrong. Uh.